بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دا ٹاپک آف فردر ٹگنومیٹری ان وچ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین یو دیٹ ہاؤ سائن ون ایٹی مائنس تھیٹا از سائن تھیٹا اینڈ کاس ون ایٹی مائنس تھیٹا از ایگل ٹو مائنس کاس تھیٹا اینڈ ٹینجنٹ ون ایٹی مائنس تھیٹا از ایگل ٹو مائنس ٹینجنٹ تھیٹا ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دس وی ہیو ٹو کنسیڈر دس ڈائیگرام ان دس ڈائیگرام آئی ہیو ڈرون اے سرکل اینڈ دس از ایکس ایکسز اینڈ دس از وائی ایکسز اف آئی ہیو ڈرون ایکس ایکسز اینڈ وائی ایکسز سو دس سرکل ہیز بین ڈیوائڈ ان ٹو فور کوارڈرنٹ دا فرسٹ کوارڈرنٹ سیکنڈ تھرڈ اینڈ فورتھ کوارڈرنٹ اینڈ ریمبر دس وی آر میجرنگ تھیٹا ان اینٹی کلاک وائز ڈائریکشن اینڈ اینگل تھیٹا از آلویز ود ایکس ایکسز اوکے ناؤ کنسیڈر اے پوائنٹ پی This is the point P which is on the circumference of the circle. This point P has the coordinates X and Y. When I'm saying that X, it means this point P has moved X on the X axis and Y on the Y axis because this is the Y coordinate. Now this point P has been joined with the uh, X axis. So here we can make the angle of 90 degree. Now there, uh, here is OAP is a right angle triangle. And you better know that on the right angle triangle, we can uh, apply the Pythagoras theorem also. We can also apply sine cosine ratios. Okay. So, according to this right angle triangle, you know that against theta, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent, adjacent side. And this is the radius of the circle. Remember this, this OP is the radius of the circle. Now, as you know that sine theta is equal to perpendicular over hypotenuse. This is perpendicular over hypotenuse y over r. Cos theta is equal to base over hypotenuse which is x over r and tangent theta is equal to perpendicular over base, perpendicular over base. So here you can see that these three trigonometric ratios are clear to you. Now let us consider another uh, figure. Now this point P has moved through in the uh, towards the second quadrant here. Now this consider this when this point uh, P is moving in the second quadrant. Now here theta has become obtuse. In this case, remember this here theta is acute. Theta is acute. You know that acute is the angle which is less than 90 degree. Now while this point is moving in the second quadrant. Theta has become obtuse. Theta is obtuse now. Remember this fact. Now, if the theta is obtuse, now what is this angle? Basically, uh, this total angle on the straight line is 180. So, out of 180, you will have to subtract this theta. So, this angle, this angle basically 180 minus theta. So, I have mentioned with this line that 180 minus theta is this angle, this angle. This angle is 180 minus theta. Again, listen to me carefully that how this angle is 180 minus theta. I am explaining you again. This total angle is 180. Now, as I told you that this theta angle has moved from uh, x-axis to and in, in the anti-clockwise direction. Now, this is theta. Till this point, it is theta. So, from 180, we are going to subtract theta. So, this remaining angle is 180. 180 minus theta. So remember, this angle is 180 minus theta. Now again, consider this right angle triangle. The same facts. This is p minus x y, because this is negative y axis. So here I am taking negative x. Now this along y axis, this is positive y axis, because from the origin in upward direction is this positive positive y axis and This is negative y axis. This is positive x axis, and this is negative x axis. In this triangle, there is only x axis, which is negative. Now I am erasing this, so that it must not confuse you. Here I am writing 180 minus theta, as I already told you that this angle is 180 minus theta, which is this. So I am erasing this. It must not confuse you. Well, now. As you know that uh, this right angle triangle sine 180 minus theta, you have to see that now I am considering triangle POA. 
A, this triangle is being considered here in this triangle, this is 180 minus theta. So, sin 180 minus theta, 180 minus theta perpendicular over hypotenuse. Perpendicular is y, hypotenuse is r, y over r. You can see that sin 180 minus theta y over r is the same whatever you got here sin theta. So, whatever the value of sin 180 minus theta is, the same is the value of sin theta. Now, come to the second value, sin, cos 180 minus theta. This is minus x over r, why? Because base over hypotenuse is the cos theta. Here, base is negative, it is minus x axis. So, minus x axis over r, hypotenuse, x over r. That's why this negative sign comes. Now, you can see that as far the cos theta is concerned, this is x over r. But if we are taking 180 minus theta, then it is minus x over r. So, by joining these two, we can conclude that cos 180 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta. Because cos theta has the value x over r, with the negative sign, we can equalize cos 180 minus theta with cos theta. Same is the case for tangent 180 minus theta. Here, tangent theta, tangent 180 minus theta is perpendicular over base, perpendicular is y and ba uh, base is x, x is negative, okay. So, tangent 180 minus theta is equal to minus y over x. Here you can also consider that tangent theta is equal to y over x, but tangent 180 minus theta is minus y over x. So, with the negative sign we can equalize these two, okay. So, hope you have understood that how these three identities uh, are being uh, uh, calculated that how these thetas are equal to each other. So, you can ask any question in the comments. Thank you so much.